Hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is David. This channel is Demars Coaching, and today's video is about psychopaths, sociopaths, more so antisocial personality disorder. Um, lots of confusion here, lots of misinformation, lots of uh, lacking information still. Uh, lots of studies on, on this, and um, still many, many more studies that need, are needed to understand this disorder. Um, People that are psychopaths and sociopaths, it's not necessarily a diagnosis. It's most of the, those people fit under antisocial personality disorder. And today I'm going to talk about a lot of the behaviors. So I'm not trying to educate people on what they are, or how they got this way. I've made other videos about this. Feel free to go check out the playlist called Antisocial Personality Disorder. Um, today, behaviors. Psychopathic, sociopathic, antisocial behaviors. The term antisocial is confusing sometimes. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's somebody that locks themselves away and doesn't communicate, although that's called asocial, and, and that is something they may do. Um, but on the contrary, antisocial means it's things that go against the grain of society, okay? Um, we are extremely social animals. We are here today. We are uh, in control of our environment a lot, uh, a lot more so than other species, um, without fangs and teeth that could hurt people, hurt other animals to protect ourselves, we did it in numbers. And so we're successful at it. And this disorder, people who are antisocial, it's a very, very rare disorder, okay? There's not very many people like this on the planet. Um, and it, it, if there is many more, we may not be where we are today. That's how sabotaging they are. Um, this disorder is a very specific diagnostic criteria that I say about every time I talk about any uh, personality disorder. Um, and, 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 and again, I'm not leaving this to just this disorder. I'm talking about the behaviors. This is also a spectrum. So there are all kinds of different people with this disorder. Um, the low, low spectrum may be somebody very, very not functional, depressed, sit at home, not interact much where the higher spectrum, you might see them uh, in, in uh, uh, careers of power and control. You might see them very successful. Um, uh, statistic I just read that the, highest, the city with the highest concentration of psychopaths is guess. Maybe I'll leave that open for the end of the video. I'll tell you at the end if I remember. You guys guess, what's the city with the highest concentration of psychopaths? I've said it not too long ago. I don't know how many of you guys saw that video. Um, it is said that it is so difficult to spot a psychopath, I'm just saying just psychopaths now, that you may never know if someone has or is a psychopath unless they tell you. That, that can be how difficult it is. Uh, psychologists and therapists and other mental health professionals that diagnose their clients take a very long time to diagnose people with personality disorders. It could take six months, it could take longer. Um, it's not easy. And they have to be very clear on that. It has to be a very pervasive pattern of these traits uh, and meet that specific criteria. So, okay, got that out of the way. Um, there is one way you can tell for sure now. We know psychopaths, you can take brain scans. A brain scan will show very little to no activity in this prefrontal lobe, okay? Um, we know that uh, just right off the bat, and, and I just posted a meme today, that psych all famous psychopaths have been characterized as uh, charming and charismatic, nice, okay? So we know charming. I find some of them very interesting, very interesting, even knowing that they're, they have this disorder or not. I have been known to find some of them very interesting. This topic is extremely interesting to me. Um, I, I've watched all the murder shows and stuff like that and, and, and studied famous psychopaths. I've been studying psychopathy for many years now. And um, the ones that you see on television, now we're talking spectrum again, right? The ones that you see on television, the famous murderers and stuff, make up an extreme small percentage of this disorder, which is rare on its own. So there's not many out there and it's a, not a fair representation of people with the disorder, especially psychopaths, okay? Uh, psychopaths that go on murderous, you know, rants or kill people, or kill their family, no reason, stuff like this. Uh, very rare. Very rare. Okay? Uh, not a fair representation. We know that they're charismatic. We know that they can be exciting, which may mean dangerous. Witty. 
could be helpful. They're the chameleons, the big time chameleons. Um, psychopathy is also one third, one part of the dark triad. Okay, very dark people. The antisocial personality disorder in the DSM criteria, failure to conform to social norms or laws. Okay, deceitful, liars, pathological, impulsive behaviors. All right, uh, can't plan ahead, no future. Violent, history of violence, reckless disregard for others and their self, lacking self-preservation. I'll go down with you, driving a car extremely fast, maybe just to scare you even. I've, I've many times, many times coaching people for years now, victims of sociopaths driving down the road fast as hell just to scare you, just to get control of you, to get what they want from you. Not caring that they could wreck the car and die themselves, okay? Uh, irresponsible. They have problems with jobs, holding a job. Do not honor financial obligations. Don't pay people back and a severe lack of remorse. Now, the psychopath, they say, is born that way. There might be some trigger to trigger that psychopathy in their life. The sociopath is made this way. Um, what I have seen every time, every person diagnosed with antisocial and is made this way, the sociopath, um, every single one of them had a parent or parents or somebody that took care of them in their childhood that was extremely toxic and, and taught them extremely bad things. Um, I've known sociopaths who've been in the, um, the sex trafficking world as a child. I've known sociopaths that have been tortured, severely sexually exploited, taught how to steal starting at five. Okay. <clears throat> um, and also very, very important evidence of conduct disorder with onset before 15. Okay. Big time problematic child. Exploitation is a vital element of the antisocial. They pretty much won't have an experience or interaction with someone unless it's exploitative. This is my definition of exploitation, okay? Taken from several others, but this is one I formed together. Taking advantage of another person as a resource for, un, or for an unfair self-advantage. Taking advantage of another person as a resource for an unfair self-advantage, okay? Very narcissistic. It is said that someone with antisocial personality disorder will also fit the criteria for narcissistic personality disorder. I think of a sociopath as the narcissist extreme who now is dangerous, does will break many laws, something like that, and then you start getting into sociopathy, okay? Parasitic, criminal, immoral. For personal profit, or even just pleasure. They will not have an interaction with somebody unless it's exploiting them. Um, I've seen a sociopath diagnosed that didn't say they didn't want to do this anymore. They didn't want to take advantage of it anymore. They didn't want to con people and hurt them and trick them and fool them and use them. And, and they had they couldn't do it. They literally couldn't do it no matter how hard they tried. And so the only way to not do it is to not have interactions with people at all. Now, I don't know how much truth there is to it. It's hard to give uh, someone with you know, sociopaths being genuine about anything. You don't know. But this is what they're saying, that they have to sit at home and make sure they don't interact with another human being to make sure they don't exploit them. No human connection. Not necessary. They don't want it, don't need it. So exploiting people doesn't matter. Um, Every interaction is exploitation and they will do it by being nice, playing the victim, or force it by aggression. Take it, okay? No connection with people, but they value loyalty for them. Okay, they value loyalty for people who will accept them. They, a sociopath will never trust anyone. I don't care what they say. They will never 
trust anyone. They will never allow someone to hurt them. They'll never take a chance, never, ever be vulnerable. They will never trust anybody, but they will keep some people in their life that they can exploit and use that they think won't hurt them, but they're still never 100% trust you, okay? Um, and these are the people, psychopaths especially, they say sociopaths might have a somewhat of a conscience and psychopaths have none. Sociopath might have a little remorse, psychopath have none. But I often, a lot, hear from you guys that the person you dated with a personality disorder, you don't know, maybe narcissist, borderline, that they don't care at all. That they walk away from you and they don't care at all, that they're with, happy with somebody else and all this stuff. You know, that's almost 100% not true. That they don't think about you, they don't care at all. The psychopath won't at all. When they're done with you, they're done with you. That's it. They won't care about you. They won't think about you. You will see psychopaths that murder their own children, their own parents, their own siblings. And within the hour, will sit in the interrogation room and have zero emotion and talk about the whole thing as if it's just fine. And they'll come up with a reason why they did it and won't realize that that's not a good enough reason. I just watched one the other day and this, this kid murdered his sister because his mom wouldn't let him have a gun. And he thinks that's val that's valid reason. Sat there telling it, no problem. Talking about stabbing his sister in the neck a bunch of times, watching her die as she's talking to him. Nothing, nothing there, nothing. <clears throat> as I said before, antisocial, the personality disorder, wide spectrum, from homeless to corporate executive, okay? Now I'll tell you the highest city, the city with the highest concentration of psychopaths, Washington, D.C. Makes sense, doesn't it? Power, control, profit. <clears throat> so I'm going to get into a few real general, like maybe specific, but they're kind of general negative traits. History of violence. Anybody out there, okay? You meet somebody or get to know them, you discover in a relationship that somebody has a history of violence, be more than careful. Be more than careful. Violence usually doesn't go away, okay? And so someone might be extremely violent in their teens and their 20s, and then you know them in their 40s or 50s, and they seem relaxed, they haven't been violent in a while. It's still there. Trust me, it's there, okay? These are high conflict personality type people. HCPs, cluster B, personality disorder. This one, big time. They aren't seeking connection, remember? They're just seeking what they want. It doesn't work that way. These are people that make threats. Anybody that makes threats to you, you take them seriously, always. Anybody that makes threats to other people, get away from them. You're no different. Okay, someone threatens somebody else, I'll hurt you, I'll do this to you, I'll do that. Get away from them. Right? I mean, when is it ever okay to make a threat to somebody? Saying I'll protect myself isn't a threat. Okay? Criminal. Right? Antisocial behaviors. Criminal. Criminality. They say it's usually about 5% of people end up being criminals in every group. America might be a little more. They might have a criminal past. They may not care about laws, total disregard. It doesn't mean they'll have criminal past. There's many people that commit crimes and don't get caught, right? I have, I've committed traffic laws and stuff like this, never got caught. Aggressive, aggression, okay? And like I said, this can lie dormant. This can, the most calmest, nicest person could be aggressive underneath and it can come out. Smear campaigns. Smear campaigns is a great way to see because they're out there. They're, they're putting it out there in public. They don't care. They think what they're doing is okay. And that goes to show they're lacking awareness of what social norms are. There is nobody, nobody, I, I honestly believe, I don't think anybody outside of a personality disorder sits there and conducts smear campaigns on people, long term especially. You've got the borderline who, oh, you just hurt me, you abandoned me, you're abusive, you're a narcissist, and they, they may post something once or tell some people, tell your friends. 
But but you see someone attacking and targeting somebody for years, that's antisocial personality disorder. That is the biggest, one of the biggest is right out in the open antisocial behaviors. Even people that commit crime don't want to do it out in the open. And that's criminal. Smear campaigns are criminal. Some of the most antisocial behaviors you could imagine. If you know somebody that's talking bad about people, that's spreading lies, rumors, posting things, attacking, targeting, <laughs> do I need to tell you to get away from them? Or they'll do it to you? Um, <clears throat> exploiting people, right? Using people, taking advantage of people. You may not be able to keep a job. Won't pay people back. Abnormal behaviors, weird. Maybe saying something odd or strange, right? We, we talked about like magical thinking and stuff like this. Common ASPD. Uh, asociality, right? Doesn't want to communicate with people. No, no desire, doesn't care, avoid it. Controlling. Ladies out there, the second a man starts to determine, decide, try to tell you what to wear, <laughs> run, run. Don't do it. I'm telling you, that's the beginning of controlling your entire life. And it is dangerous. Those people are extremely dangerous. Okay. Um, breach of peace. High conflict, targeting, threatening, causing problems, not following rules at all, right? You have a group of 20 people and when you're trying to do some group project, there's the sociopath. There's the sociopath, doesn't want to do it, this is stupid, you guys are lame, do it my way, here's the psychopath. It's all about me, I'm taking control. Callous. Callous. We're social animals. One of the most important things we teach children right away, hopefully, is break that temper tantrum by four and be agreeable. Not the antisocial. Callous. Unemotional. Maybe emotionally detached. Flat. And this gets me into something you guys might find interesting. This is just my opinion. I know we all want to know what people look like. We want to just see them and say, boom. We can't. I already went through that, right? We don't know unless they tell us, brain scan, six months for a therapist. But there's something that I've noticed, and I swear I've got this completely on my own. I haven't seen this anywhere else really. A little, little bit on one of them, but there seems to be, with people that have antisocial personalities, whether they're a sociopath, psychopath, but especially psychopaths, there seems to be three basic eyes, kind of eyes that they have, okay? The, the first one, I call, well, not necessarily a name, but it's, now remember, no, and I think this one really has a lot to do with the lack of, of action in the prefrontal lobe. And it's almost like it affects this part of the face. And it's like, it's like dumb. It's like stupid, almost. It, it almost looks like a dead person with their eyes open. And a lot of it is the eyelids. Now, naturally, our eyelids cover the top part of our eyeballs. But I've noticed with psychopaths especially, it's a, it might be a little more. You see that? It might be a little more than just the average. See how naturally I cover top parts of my of our, my iris? And, and we all do a little bit different. But, but then it seems to be a little bit more, a little bit more dead. A little bit more. They're almost like, like a dead person with their eyes open. And then you'll get, on top of that, just a little difference. Right here, you'll see this come in, these two parts right here. You'll see this on tons of psychopaths, especially the really toxic psychopathic murders on TV and stuff. It's kind of like a stupid, flat, and then this goes in a little bit, kind of like, like that. And it's just dead, just dead. And they'll tell you about murdering people or hurting somebody or violent stuff and it's just, who cares? Flat affect. Um, the next one is the intense. So it's it's not so much it's it it's like this. Might be smiling, maybe, huh? But it's just super intense. It's like you'll notice this mostly with blue-eyed people, blue-eyed psychopaths. Weird. Okay. 
<clears throat> Third one you might notice more with the brown eyed. And I call it the black coals. Empty. Dark. And it's just solid. It's almost like solid black eyes. There's someone on YouTube that that uh, stalks me and smear campaigns me for years. They have it. Black coal eyes. Dark triad. Flat affect. Here's an important sign. Okay? When people are manipulating you, which antisocial are always, always, right? Never genuine. Something I've noticed too is when we smile, it takes a lot of muscles in our face, okay? And when we're genuinely smiling, you'll get these wrinkles right here. Crow's feet, okay? Squint. If I fake it, you guys might try to do this in a the mirror. They say it's almost impossible to get that effect by faking the smile. I've been able to do it faking it, but I'm more conscious of it. They won't, okay? They're not smiling. They understand being nice and polite and warm and accepting and all this, just like everybody else. That's how I get fit in. You see, antisocial is an awful, awful disorder. It, it would be just awful to have, okay? And they know the stereotype. They may not have been diagnosed, but they definitely know they are much, much different than the rest of us. And they feel dejected without that human connection at all. Even though they don't want it, they don't know how, they aren't seeking it, they can't, in, 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 they aren't capable. They feel dejected from society, okay? And so they'll copy and mimic and all that, just like we did growing up, children, we want to be accepted. They still want to be somewhat accepted. Um, something I find extraordinary is you can take the coldest, callous, evil murderer, psychopath, right? And you'll see that they don't want to be portrayed as a murderer. In society, they still care about that. And it's a way for police to get murderers to admit to things. They'll say, if you don't talk, if you don't tell us where the bodies are for the family, you're gonna go down as the biggest monster in history. Okay, okay, the bodies are here. Okay, okay, I, I promise I raped, I, I, I killed her, I murdered her, but I didn't rape her. Not that they think that's wrong, they know that we do. And for some reason, even though they're gonna go to death row, maybe even get killed in a few years, never talk to anybody they don't want to go down as monster for some reason that matters another thing i find interesting is the loyalty aspect okay this is something you guys tell me a lot about i said they value loyalty they will hold themselves at the most highest highest regards of morality and have zero problem breaking it themselves you have to be loyal to me but i if i have to be disloyal to you it's okay Okay, I rationalize and justify everything. And they will sell you as the most moral person ever and break every single moral five minutes later. Totally fine. They have a good reason for each one. Crazy. Um, that's it for the video, guys. Let me know what you think. Please, please, add your own. There's so much more, okay? And, and I find it interesting, and most people watching this video are going to find it interesting. That's why you're watching it. So let me know. Put more. Anyone of you watching this, go down below, read the examples they have. And, and examples. I know many of you have had interactions, relationships, lived with children, psychopaths. Let me know what I've missed, what I've left out. Okay? There's much more out there. Ask questions. I'll always answer them. Okay? Love yourself first, guys. See you later. Bye.